The GitHub Issue Notebook extension lets you use notebooks to query GitHub issues directly from VS Code. You can then check in these notebooks so that they can be shared with the rest of your team. I've already installed this extension, so let's take a look at it in action. Now to create a new GitHub Issue Notebook, I'm going to open up the command palette with Control shift p or Command shift p and say GitHub Issue, and I want the new GitHub Issue Notebook command here. When I run this, you can see that it's opened a new notebook file with a default query. So this is a new code cell that it's created, and it has a query. So with this um, extension, you're basically specifying queries to run against GitHub. And you can see that by default, we're going to query the Microsoft slash VS Code repository. You could put whatever repository you want in there. You'd first put your username and then the repository name after that, and then a list of query parameters. And you can use the same query parameters that you can when searching through GitHub issues. So let's say I want to just see all of the uh, issues that are assigned to me in this repository. I can do assignee and then colon at me. And this is going to um, just look at all of the issues that are assigned to me. Now I'm going to go run the cell by clicking over here and give it a moment to actually go and query GitHub. And once it returns the results here, now if I want to learn more about one of these issues, I can just go and click on it. So let's go to this first one, for example. And you can see that clicking on that issue will just go and open my standard browser. Now we could further filter things down by adding another query parameter. So let's say we just want to see the bugs that are assigned to me. I could do label. And again, it's going to provide some IntelliSense to help me out here. And then I'll say label bug. And now when I run this query, it is only going to return the bugs that are assigned to me. So you can see that now all of the returned issues have the bug label on them. So you can use pretty much any of the query syntax from GitHub directly in this extension as well. And you can even have multiple queries in a cell. Now, the reason the GitHub issue notebook extension is helpful is because you can go and check in these um, notebooks after creating them so that the rest of your team can also run these same queries. Now, for the VS Code team, for example, we have a number of notebooks. So let me just open up the Explorer. I'm in the VS Code repository. And you can see that under here on the uh, VS, code slash notebooks, we have all of these GitHub issue notebooks that we've created. So if I wanted to look at things related to API development, I can just go into this notebook and run it. And anybody here on the team can now go and view all of the issues that are related to API development. And we have all of these different notebooks for running different parts of uh, managing VS Code. So that's just a quick look at the GitHub issue notebook extension for VS Code. If you're working with a team that uses GitHub, definitely try giving it a try and seeing how it can fit into your workflow.